Moshi Moshi, my Megimas, and welcome back to Ketchi Impact. The darkness of the abyss draws near. People gaze into the whisking smoke as if gazing upon new possibilities. The world these heroes, it needs a real curse's light to shadow the silence of death. Today, we're team doing the Natland story quest. Firstly, we'll do the Silent Trial, or however you say your name. Shall I auto elements in your lazy puss? Oh, there we go. Are you a dubstep artist? I will listen to your music. Damn, look at her jamming out. Is it playing with the background music too? That would be cool if that's the case. Okay, that took a while. I press ski. <gasps> Roller skating! Yo! That's sick! Left click, right click to dash, space to jump. Ooh, your ability? Oh, never mind. And hey, what's your alt? Ooh! Pretty sick woman! That's your claymore? Oh, wait, never mind. This is so user. I thought she would be a claymore. How she looks. But you know what? Never mind that. It looks pretty sick, anyways. She can escape her on the walls, too! She's in my walls. Oh, yeah, your charge attack. Let me see. She kicks with her heels? I wish that would be. I would pull for her, but I have Katrina already, so sorry, girl. Things have been looking really rough for Natland lately. There are more and more commissions from the Adventurers Guild, and they're all related to the Abyss. Just waiting around. They have a pool? I don't know. Let's see if there's anything we can do to help. I don't know that pool's heel. Ooh, that's so for Nani. Like, what Okay, in a plain of where we got stuff to do. Hi, hey, Catherine, you wish to speak with us? I see. Thank you so much. The Adventurers Guild has been overwhelmed these days. <laughs> no worries at all. We've always valued the strength of adventurers. Given the current situation, it's vital that we all work together. Since we're facing the same enemies, I'll send you the intel we've collected on the Abyss so far. Then we can take a look at how to coordinate our efforts. All right. Thank you so much. Hi, Catherine. It's us. Got any new commissions? Ah, you two have come just in time. I've got some good news. The Pyro Archon has finished assembling her forces and stationed them all across Natlan. Given how the Abyss has ramped up its activities lately, we can no longer afford to act only after receiving news of an invasion. So the Pyro Archon suggested that the Scions of the Canopy and the Adventurers Guild focus on collecting and disseminating intel. That way, we can stay informed of everything that's happening across the land. Once we receive word of enemy activity, we can notify the nearest camp and the stationed forces can take immediate action. That leads to a faster response time. Yes, precisely. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information, rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. So please also take a chance to relax, you two. You've been working hard these days, and this will be a good opportunity for some well-deserved rest. So that's the plan! Whew, we can finally stop and take a break! But the threat of the abyss is still far from over. Paimon knows that! It's not like Paimon just wanted to lay here and do nothing! <laughs> the movements of the abyss are always unpredictable. There have also been times when it suddenly became more active in the past. The people here generally see it as something like an acute natural disaster. Once the disaster is over, everyone will return to their normal lives. We just all hope that day will be sooner rather than later. Oh, right. Most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the Night Kingdom. I also hope the day of peace will come soon. Hello? No voice lines? Oh, is that because of the strike they're going to steal? Damn, I guess I'm talking. Eh? Is that... Is he fell Paimon? Hello, hello. Oh, hey, Katina. Are you feeling better now? <laughs> yep. Now we need the time to stay at home and recover. Anyway, I want to do something to help. I heard that the Pi Archer is gathering warriors to be stationed in the more remote area, so I gave you to sign up. Don't push yourself too hard. Mm-hmm. I'll do my best and also make sure to stay out of your way. The last thing I want to add is your work. Oh, by the way... Sayolin told me she was ordered to force you an Asian name. She said that she's all set if we could head over already. Wow! So we'll finally 
get to meet Shilonin, the legendary... That's how you see your name? Oh! I still can't believe anyone could forge those things. So name is Shilonin. Okay, God. <laughs> Shiloni is a true master. Oh, so sexy. Not only we she can forget our ancient names, but also also of new and fun things. She always get a part of commission on her plate, so you usually have to wait for a while before she finishes something. In this case, though, she completely cleared her schedule just to work with you. She wants to give your name her full attention. Then what should we properly thank her when we meet? Well, I always set up as a warrior, so all I have to do for now is to wait for my assignment. If that's okay, maybe we can go to see Shailen together. We shouldn't have turned me away, right? I mean, I hope she wouldn't. Hey, have some confidence in yourself, Kachina. After all, you're already a victor of the Night Warden Wars. You're the future of your tribe. Ah! Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. On second time, maybe I'll just find a hole in the ground to jump to and hide for a fucking while. Damn, okay. If you guys don't know, the voice act of Kachina, she fell from a ladder. Oh, is that what she's gonna do any voice lines for, for a while? That is sad. That's gonna mean for a while, guys. I'll be voice lighting for them until they fix the VA problem. <gasps> there she is. She's just standing there. Ho ho ho! Damn, look at them heels. <laughs> and her leopard heels. Is that she's half eyes? Yeah, she's a leopard. I mean, cheetah. Never mind. Shailen! I bought the I bought the puzzle you need in Asian name! He's super amazing. I don't even let all the stuff him. I can't dodge it. He's only with the heels name. Ah, yes. So I've heard. So young, and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Her voice. Goddamn. Wait. Are you, are you Outlanders? Yep. We're travelers who just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're Outlanders. Huh? You're saying the fucking goddamn I could Tell you? No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged himself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure he'd be able to return safe and sound. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <sighs> uh, are you upset? No, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it really i just huh, need a moment to process things the pyro archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill and uh, we used to argue a lot honestly it's uh probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time <sighs> anyway i can't argue with her if she isn't here and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else but what? Ooh, just because i understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset. After all, she must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. It's impossible? As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's spare and glory, which grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. I got plenty of these under my belt. Yeah, I saw Kelly's feet because of the Avengers handbook. It felt like they could do anything. But they were all performed outside of Natland, correct? Yeah, that's right. He's like, shit. Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. To take it one step further, even if you had performed heroic deeds in Natland, as an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by our lands. Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wild can be used as a basis for an ancient name. Even the greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know. That's just how it is. Seems the Wyab don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? Mawika, of all people, should know better than anyone. Yet she's still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. Oh, Paimon gets it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Why do I feel like this happens before? I think last time, Shailen just ended up running those little laps around the heels nearby. Ugh, don't remind me. Let's just uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. Uh, you mean you're already willing to accept the task? Well, what else can I do? What's happened is already done, and it's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. In other words, the order is an affirmation of my abilities. Oh, not only has 
said she accepted the task, but now she's looking for silver linings? Maybe that's just how much she and Aka trust each other. Yeah! Let's see if we can find some special ways to pull this off! If we really can't make it work out, but I'm sure we can still go back and talk to the power icon, right? He is getting the wire to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record his heroic deeds. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before! We even had a whole conversation with her! If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together! Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Plus, considering the unprecedented nature of this situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. Would we need to gain the acknowledgement of all six Wyabs? <sighs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. The first person who comes to mind is C. Lolly at the Masters of the Nightwind. C. Lolly? The one we call Granny Eats Tilly. Oh, yeah, that's the other new character. Oh, we that heard that name too. before. We used her spirit speaker stone to find Kachina's ancient name. A person who can make something like that must be pretty impressive. I'm unsure she'd be able to help. Uh, still, she's older now and quite eccentric. It's hard to even book a meeting with her, given that she's constantly holed up in a room and doesn't like to be disturbed. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. I hate to break it to you, but... She probably will be very happy with us. Huh. Why is that? I mean, didn't she already help you before? And you even managed to save Kachina. Well, yeah. At the cost of her spirit speaker stone being split into two. Ah! <sighs> like fucking Christ. Great go, Moika. We're already off to a rocky start here. <laughs> In that case, voice, I so... guess your only option is to so try sleepy. to emphasize I like that, an important order from the people hate it? Hopefully, I mean, they don't get it. still want to show respect to the Archon. That's how she. That's how people are too. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. If you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, then that should help too. Oh, let's ask a ch let's just catch in the letter. He understands the whole thing and knows what you're going to fix I might sure hope so. How won't interrupt when he's talking, though. All right. If they got no voice lines, how am I going to sound like them? I trust that he'll know the best things to say. Great, then I'll go contact him right away. Uh, right now. Just give me a moment to write the letter, and we can meet up near the statue of the Seven Leader. The one, like... No okay, bias. We'll take a in the okay, I'm gonna change strolls. Oh, this way now. Hello, you here? I don't see you. Hello? Hello? Can he make his way over at the same time? Voice oh. line. Oh, get him too? Come on! Who else is that voice lining because of what's happening with the VA strike? Fine, I'll like him. Um, she sounds kind of like a beta, kind of. We meet again. Kanish told me everything. I'll live with the Ministry of the Master of Nightwind and convince us to give you a fucking chance. I'll also take the chance to ex explain what happened to the Spillkeeper store and offer an apology in, in person. Yeah, I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanish. It's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. It's alright. We'll all work at the sake of the Power Offense plan. After all, it was he understands how dire the situation has become. Oh, wait. So, Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? Mm-hmm. There's also the heal of the past we met us right before our eyes! And then Milani says she's had the knowledge and memory slowly flood into her brain cells! <laughs> I said brain cells. The boy Archon explained everything when she came back from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero, and as well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Right. She mentioned there are six heroes and that Shilonen is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Oh, <laughs> Well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by your side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. I have enough piece of into the shell. We play must invite the person who we saw at the captain of the sp uh, stadium of the scared flames. His name is Owan Owan or how is his name? And he also hailed from the master of the night wind. However, he spent most of his life living out of the world and by himself away from the rest of the tribe. That's why he disappear disappearance went unnoticed. By the time Killers finally realized he was gone, no one has heard from him for quite a while. Uh, Seat Lolly knows him too? Fuck yeah. 
Oan uh, was in orphan ways by the chief of the Master of the Night Wind and many other kind-hearted people in his tribe. Still, he has setting up an old opposition his whole life. Oh, no. Given how the Masters of the Night Wind love to babble about dreams and revelations, they're already a pretty strange bunch to most. I've never met Auroran, but if they oh, consider okay, him got the it. odd one, he's got to be pretty far out there. That's right. So in a sense, Oran and Silati actually is quite a bit of a common, which is why they get along pretty well. Huh. Makes sense. But Paimo wonders how Seat Lali could be the first one to notice Auroran's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. As of now, we still have yet to confirm whether Auroran joins the Fatui Vanti or if you're concerned. Silati is probably eager to prove that Auroran hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use as leverage when I go to talk with her. Ah, huh, so if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Roran and the captain's whereabouts? Yes, if you're all on board with the idea, then it becomes a mutual beneficial collaboration rather than just a one side fucking request. Even though I don't think Salati is the kind of person to turn down order from the Pongon, working together with us will help her focus and get distracted by the whole Oral situation. This way, we can get two birds with one stone. Yeah! Plus, we kinda owe her one anyway to make up for breaking the spirit speakers down. Yeah, this is a pretty well thought out plan. As expected of Molly Poke and each, then uh, yeah, I'll leave my letter to you. Let's hope Seat Lolly can meet at the stadium in two days. Sure, I'll head out right now. Take care, Thilkin each. I'll be heading back as well. There are still a few things I need to pack. Okay, then let's part ways for now. I'll see you in a couple of days. Couple of days? Oh, time to meet up with Sharon. What's this girl thinks have been going? Oh yeah, I'll be winding down this way. Woody! What up, girl? I've been riding on my surfboard to come to you. Hey, Shilonin, how's everything going? Oh, hi, Traveler and Paimon. I have, uh, bad news. Seat Lolly did not reply to our request. Although, I suppose I'm not too surprised. Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Kenichi a response? Guess she really does have quite the ego, then. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though... She's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night Wind often struggle to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deigning us with a response. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. That's true. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go with this also background music. I'm just kidding though. <laughs> I'll show this the whole thing. Anyways, um, is she here in person? I want to see how she looks like. You're right at the same at the sky flags. I expect the city is not there. Of course she's not! Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? <sighs> well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't the subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> A subject? Well, um, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yes, mm -hmm. Maweka is our leader, but that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. I can tell. Huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Oh, yes. Like that old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's famous? She's coming! I will like say it out loud. Kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter. Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <clears throat> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Oh, Paimon, you sure have shut the fuck up, why didn't you? Don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Ugh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Come on, let's see an appearance. Seat Lolly. Huh? Wait, you're Seat Lolly? You're Granny Eatsley? Yes, Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, damn. That appearance. Ah, uh, you must know this trope from so light cute. novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. 
the girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. Huh. That's also the VA of March 7th. She sounded different from this game. Oh, wipe that look off your face! You've seriously never seen an older <laughs> lady that doesn't look her age? Oh, <laughs> Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. My head was just this kind of for some reason. Anyways, I'll be fine. And, and you won't complain about the power outcome leaving things out. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um, I'm not sorry. So, how old are you actually? What age? What? Uh, how dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you. It's just that uh, your case seems really unique. Oh, Paimon just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Really, Paimon just got a little mad since we thought, well, you were going to leave us out to dry. Good to know. Um, she's upset. Like, God damn you. It's my idea to invite you here, Seat Lolly. So if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. <sighs> Alright, I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. I can hear my seventh voice. I'm gonna feel from awkward if we behind keep this that. Going. But the way the way she talks like a mature version of my seventh, honestly. If my seven becomes a five star soon in Hong Kai style will. I received Kenichi's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided to come. I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? But, of course... What? It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over. But since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. <laughs> only to hear you all talking smack about me. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, Salati. We're talking... I mean, they were talking shit, not me. <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. Expression. I don't know, it got awkward. Was she feeling embarrassed just now? I guess. Is she really us to on the coaching? Everything it sounds like a joke, but I'm not sure I should laugh or I'll be rude to laugh. Oh, you're rude not to laugh. When the masters of the night runs, so they struggle dealing with her. <laughs> I want to laugh. The feeling is mutual. Huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. <clears throat> Anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. With your tired, sexy voice, Shilonen explains the Paraka's request. Huh, I see. So Mawika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. We know once we find him. Yeah, that's find what him. I came here to ask you. We'll help bring Aurora back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Ita. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. Huh? Uh, okay. And what's next? You gonna pull my pants down? Like, ah, don't flush my dick in front of her and Paimon! Anyways, what, you, ooh, what is going on? Is she fleeing something from me? Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. A weary yet free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Excuse me? What the fuck was all that supposed to mean? <sighs> Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero 
along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Huh? huh? What thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the traveler gonna be okay? Paimon, come down. Ah, uh, shoo! It was on me? Ah, oh, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. What are they doing? Touching me? Uh, I didn't know that. Isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Mm. Uh, it's nothing as we'll serious tell. as help? that. <laughs> if left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind. And generally worsen your mood. Oh, in that case, better to get rid of them. Uh-huh. At least thank you for that. That's what I mean. Nothing. Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. But I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good! Then we'll go with St. Lolly to track down Aurora! Phew, <sighs> the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yep, we'll, well. be sure to play it safe! Right. Now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroron's place to look for clues. He has always lived alone, and I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids, which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnayan arms. Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? <laughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. You can count on us! All right, then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last. Nice. I like how she talks. Like, I can heal like, a mature version of March 7's voice. Like, if they do go with that, then I'm gonna like it. I mean, if they don't, when she, when she tells you a five star in Hong Kong style world, that's fine with me too. People complain too. That's how stupid they are. Anyway, let's go find him. So, the path leads to here, huh? Interesting. Okay, I don't even have to be that because my thing is filled up Need a so far. What do we got? Uh, this is the spot. Right here. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him. Or perhaps trying to extract information. Like they were, they were grooming him? Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't 
Did Leech say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Could you tell a little more about him? Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids. Living off of what he harvests from the garden. Mm. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Is that all there is to him? Then he really doesn't sound like a bad ass person. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time. And since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Hyman doesn't see anything. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Ah, uh, here. Give me your hand. She's gonna touch me again? If Ayako is here... Even Paimon! Um, okay. I'm like, whoa! I can feel the power! Uh -huh. What? How about now? What do you see? I can see the trail now. Whoa! Paimon can see it now too! That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that! It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. Oh. <laughs> when I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Yes. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, this way! <laughs> See, Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something! What do I do? What? Is that? What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Is she speaking or is someone else speaking? Uh, but... Is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. I think. But given the looks on their faces just now. I think something fired. They forgot to put a name. Or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old fashioned. Uh, huh? What? What? I had to tell her voice, wait, but it wasn't my eyes. All of us in my mind. Was that? See Lolly's voice? What? We could hear that? Hi, Bon. I can read your mind. Seen Pon's heard the same voice, but she also looks like she doesn't understand what's going on. Let me think. Oh, we're the side of the spell she that cast. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. Mm hmm So we can now hear her thoughts through Delpy? Wow, this is amazing. Something that there could be hap could only happen with Celsia. I read your mind! They appear to be feeling quite confident. It looks like our work will go smoothly. See? We'll best just leave it to us. <laughs> okay, I was a little worried. Actually, they're not getting fired. I guess it was part of the story as well. Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there! They're probably Let's go take a look. <gasps> Capybaras! Oh my god, you're gonna talk mm. first. Yeah. That's Judging a bad habit. By Paimon's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. It's probably a bad habit I was walking through areas that they need to finish talking first. Oh, uh, wait. The phlogist in here is a bit odd. Let me see. Paimon <sighs> sees a small shape here. 
Could it be... some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. Ooh. But, uh, but what if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Is that he? Uh, no, I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm. Just a quiet composure. Ooh. Oh my god, this is. I feel like March 7 will be like this too. It'll be so funny. Either we could read her mind about this. Uh, we could totally not read your mind. Totally not read your mind. Okay, so more clues. I'm gonna keep Wee! This is a fun exploration! Yes, I'm gonna touch this. We'll be good. And then we got some more clues over here. Okay, what's next? See you talking in mind? There are traces of people staying here too! Is there? Oh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Kanich told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little b said something nice. I just said, little bitch! <laughs> they broke you my mind, right? We can't be your mind. Power's upset now. <sighs> there are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Seems like Olwan found a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Auroron wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatui? Such it looks pretty worried. Indeed, just the just signal from before, Olwan was being held by the Fatui. So given the differences in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. Um... Where are you going? I'll take this direction. And leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. Yeah. Cool. We'll go this way. <sighs> Roron! What the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, oh, you little brat. And off she goes! Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Yep. Once Seat Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So the telephone doesn't go both ways. So you were thinking the same thing. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. I don't think Celsia noticed anything. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell. And it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Most likely. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. Mm-hmm. So looking for clues. Yes, we are. We need those deals. Or some deal meat. I know I could kill them. Well, it could be red off the red nose main deal. Could be. Let's go on the wide. We Okay, is it this way? We we'll touch that, because why not? Surf in the void, surf in the void, from left and right, left and right. Oh, what's this? So trees are supposed to heal, but hmm. Did you find something? I found some trees of but the trail completely ends here. From here. That's weird. The phlogiston trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. Well, if he was here, actually. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those fatui with him. Power's wipe. This is all these dreamy strings, also. So, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. Is that him speaking? Is he nearby us? That is my guess. Huh? 
Who fucking spit? Why is it going all blue like that? Oh my oh, am I passing out? What is happening? Do you guys see this? Where are we? Um We're walking to a dream Oh what? Paimon! Paimon! Do not get him How the hell did I get here? Is that him? I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. <gasps> He's touching me! I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. <sighs> Hello, Traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. He has two different eye colors! Oh shit, he looks amazing! But what does that mean? Have you escaped the Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Really? Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. Cappuccino? Greetings, traveler from afar. No! He's the traitor! What? Be careful with this traveler. His soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to him. It was I who tasked Auroron with leaving the traces to lead you here. And I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. So you are working together. I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Yes. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. Shit! I have a Paimon? You see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please, help me keep this a secret. What if I don't? This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Uh, fine! I wake up. Paimon, 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 listen, listen, listen! What is the ether? The, 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 there's a guy who was in my dream? Then there's this captain guy? Anyways, <laughs> uh. Hey, what happened just now? You suddenly collapsed and stopped responding! Oh, I'm totally fine! Was my soul forced to move from the bar just now? That will explain why I couldn't hear power at all! Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See, Lolly! He froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? I'm fine, just a little lightheaded. Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Uh, sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. I was okay! If that would have been truthful, then what must have been motivated for what they did? But should I trust them? I should just share anything with Paula and Tilly right now, but that means getting up on the lead. I still have much of dealing with Aethers of which you are the master of the night wind. I suppose I'll stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything else. This fucking sucks! If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to, uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. No! <sighs> A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks, everyone. I'm feeling fine now. In any case, let's take a bit more time Sorry. to rest now. Totally okay. 
<laughs> you know, even though the situation is remaining quite urgent, you take a longer break with the Pybon and Celsia. All one words still echoes in your mind. Meanwhile, Celsia continues to keep her eye on you and even performs another checkup. <sighs> Need to be more careful next time. Feeling better yet, Traveler? All right, yes. let's get ready. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. This is up. Oh, just like my seven does. It's like, yeah, we got this! With my bold head on being an imaginary person. I actually don't like this. We have to play the secret for now. And then... Oh Look my goodness. Huh? I don't think she sees someone in the middle of the camp. He's right there. That's Auroron. So he really was taken by the Fatui. So, that's Auron. He looks the same as when I spoke to him in the night camp earlier. Alright, we'll take the lead. I'll kick his ass. Well, him too, maybe. Hmm. Hey, quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. <laughs> um, huh? he's Electro. Okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. <sighs> wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. <sighs> Are you ready? Let's go kick their butts. On my count. Three, two, one! Kick the ass! Still Happy? trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against. Do this. this. And bounce! Right here! What a I don't got shit! Oh man, I was trying to take down the electro guy dude first. Well, I'll kill him last. That's okay. Healer must die first. You're missing your shots. Keep following. Fatal. Yeah, dude, let's go next. Don't die! Boom! What? How could I have done more damage? That's hilarious. And I'm gonna do it. And you gotta be kidding me. Let's just do this. Ooh. Oh, look at her moy. She does more than that usually. What the hell this happens? Okay. Let's just attack. Oh! Let him do it again. Two times. Two times. Two times. Ooh. Damn, that was double the damage right there. Clever ah! Step right heal, heal, heal up. I thought I was dodging. Guess I didn't. Okay. Okay, this for now. That's okay. Just keep attacking. I don't have Kai on my team. I mean, I could have just gone you instead. I'm using Lenny for now because why not? Let's not waste time. No! Take this. Electro against Electro. That's hilarious. Do it three times. Swing up. And then do it again. Katrina. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. He's almost dead. Oh! oh come on! Double the damage? Are you kidding me? I gotta take you down first. I gotta take you down first. Because you're Oh wait, never mind. We have hard on our team. That's good, that's good, that's good. Even if you do use that, we got water and outside. We got water. Let's do it again with the power vault. Okay, 
are you just shielding them blindly? I think you're dumb. To notice I could do this. Yeah, your friend is gone. Yeah, I can swing at you. Where'd you go? Oh, you're not gonna fight back? Keep swinging my claymore against you. Yeah, it hurts, huh? Yeah, it hurts. Okay. Are we good? Yes, we're good. Woo! Granny, yeah. this is a bone. What the hell? Why are you acting all innocent, dude? Um, Paimon knows she's called Granny Eatsley, but it's still kind of weird hearing someone actually call her Granny. And greetings to you too, Gramps. Gramps, I'm. <laughs> what the hell? What did you just call him? That's what I'm saying. Gramps, is that not right? You're Granny's friend, are you not? I don't fuck her! You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you've gotta be Gramps. I did not fuck her! I fuck Ayaka! And we're the same age as her? She's like older, apparently. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Yeah, saving us in real life, people. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. It's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the masters of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. The way he talks definitely changed, but it doesn't feel like he's putting up an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to help keep things a secret, and even if it's for his silly's sake. So you treat everyone like they're your uncles and aunties? Exactly. Uh but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is gonna save you from a scolding, Auroron? Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of bees prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. You're, you're sounding sus, dude. Oh, Suspicious. So you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? That really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Don't you have a vision? You kind of shocked them. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. He's doing this for a reason and they don't know about me. <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No, they just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. Uh, uh? So why did you do it? Because... Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They what? also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Hey! I'm no ordinary Granny! Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value? And not stop to think? Ah, oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind, and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Ugh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? Your 
vegetables? Yes, I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Ah, uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? Uh, no! You should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? Oh, right. Hmm. Well, I'm curious too. I heard a chest somewhere. You turn to see and Scissor bring you to the speaker chamber where you will count everything that happened to Aurora. I see. So Aurora came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Seat Lolly's safety. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron, please report back to the Speaker's Chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. Huh. Well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonan and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! I'll be carry on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. What it's about? as good as done. Never mind. I'll you can just go else. twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Bye for now. Come with me, Auroron. We've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Could I stay? You have to That's a. That this new girl's Elma is way too polite. <laughs> Am I really playing along with that? <laughs> yeah, I know. This dirty seeker guy plays. Look at his face. He's probably trying to remind me about his, my promise. He doesn't strike me as a liar. And I have not seen anything for myself. And I have never guessed that he could have done so much work behind Celsus' back. What does he really want? Oh, we're finally done. Alright, it's time to find some grub. Problem, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it, Traveler? Ooh, so you secretly! You saw a pulse and tell him that you saw it would you collapse. What? That captain? Keep your voice down! He's gonna fucking heal you! Uh, sorry. Paimon just didn't see that coming. So you really saw him in the Night Kingdom? And he didn't attack you? I'm so glad we started saying something without them knowing! Hopefully. Oh, that Aurora, what is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. We'll still need more information. Yeah, you're right. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support your choice no matter what, so if you want to go, we can go together. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Um, is Paimon going to be like... Uh, I guess she's gonna. Wait, I think she has to hide while we're doing this. Paimon, I need you a favor. I need you to shut the fuck up for a while, okay? And don't be suspicious about what's going on, okay? Just because I told you everything, okay? Just play along, Paimon. Just stay quiet. Is she really gonna come with us like this? Is this even okay for Paimon to be around? I hope so. Weird. Paimon doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let this be a trap. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> what was that? Good evening. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Oh, like the Undertaker? You apologizing all the time. You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. Really? Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? <laughs> well, I could. Let's get straight to the point. Hmm. You know you know the deal, buddy. Make sure no one's around. It's all clear. Over to you. Excellent. 
The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. I don't really care about how the fuck the other two thinks of me. Yet, there's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Why? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Mauwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natlan, she still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how do you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natlan, even all of Tavat, will pay for her mistakes. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along, the details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you? An emergency plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan and all of Natlan will be lost to the Abyss. We have to make the decision for her, here and now. That's just your speculation. Yeah, do you have any evidence for all this? Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Tsaritsu plan? Ooh, wait, by seizing the Gnosis and making this for her, could he mean that the Gnosis has something to do with this backup plan? I knew you'd be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Okay. Um, huh? Someone's here. Who's that? Huh? The captain disappeared! Something is rapidly approaching. Oh no. Is that an enemy? Something! Bad news, chump! It's your granny! Ooh, she knows something! As she punched him. Deserved! Sorry, dude. She said, fuck! <laughs> you said oof like your Roblox. See, Lolly! When did you get here? <sighs> I knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. Yeah, she said something. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Uh. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. What the heck are you up to? I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ah, uh, you! Why do you talk it? like Where that? Are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll. Oh, uh, wait, see, Lolly. Please calm down. We uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the Gnosis anymore. So maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? Uh, yeah, this is no place to dis discipline a child. Uh, listen well, Auroron. You're only getting out of this now because of the Traveler's plea. This isn't over. You hear me? Uh, you're right, Traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? Yeah, you got it. 
Our conversation with the captain was interrupted by the most cultural moment, but if Odin's still here, maybe we can still learn the West from him. Yeah! Dude! You were being... Huh! Okay, at least she caught on what's happening! Cause she was next to no at the Paimon! But it looks like she figured it all out. Like, I knew something sus was going on! Okay, we speak! In all my years, I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Use it! Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Uh. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Uh. Come on, say something. Looks like has no attention to answering her. Uh, just use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Um. Why look at me? Uh, why is he staring at us all of a sudden? Dude, you're in your twenties. Why are you looking at us like that? I'm sorry that you have to hear all this. Uh, is it definitely a little awkward? Indeed, it's like going to visit a friend at his house, only to suddenly hear your friend berating a naughty Saurian. Well, that's an oddly specific analogy. Wait, did one of your friends really do that? <laughs> yes. And oh! Every time my friends scolded his Saurians, they would look at me the same way you're looking at me now. Helpless and embarrassed. Wait, but you're the one getting your head chewed off. Stop making this about us! Uh, indeed, you've got a point. Then please just hang in there for a little while longer. Granny should be done with her scolding session soon. Scolding session? Oh? You dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? You! Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. <sighs> sorry, Granny. <laughs> sorry, Granny. You know what? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now. So why would you listen to an old hag like me? You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Aoife over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables! I don't need anything from you! Um, who's Aoife? A delivery person? What is going on? Uh, that's irrelevant. The point is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. Uh, you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Auroron, if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. I'm not starting to get lost. That's not it, Granny. I was thinking off about that voice. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice? Auroron! Where have you gone? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? Unless... I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save Natlan. So I've got to go. Wait, he actually went? Get back here this instant! Auroron! Ugh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? Probably with his vision abilities. Uh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. That's what he was doing to us. He Damn! Off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet... 
I'm definitely going to break his legs. Put your heels? That's Damn. a little extreme. <laughs> but still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? He still doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Ah, oh, that brat. I swear. The captain probably has some sort of stupid plan, otherwise Auroron would have no reason to keep following him. Meeting again is out of the car for now, so I might be faster just to approach the Pelican and confirm what the captain said and all, so... I can tell that Auroron's stubbornness has her salaries deeply. I need to find a way to confirm her. What was all this about Orwan's duty earlier? Uh, uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. All right. Damn. So much shit has happened in this episode. All right, I'm gonna there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.